Vera. Oh, I'm going to introduce you to the most powerful money men in New York. And if you can do to them what you've done to me... I can't do that. I mean, bowl them over, darling. You're irresistible when you turn on that boyish charm. Oh, yeah. Hi, Whitfield. Whitfield? Yeah, it's my middle name. It's not Brantley Whitfield. Hi, Carlton. I'm Carlton Foster. You go by all those names? Yeah, I get a lot of them. My parents couldn't make up their mind. My monogram looks like an eye chart. <sighs> You're always surprising me, Brantley. That's your most attractive quality. Promise me you'll never stop. I promise. Oh, good. Now, Roland Owens, first federal, very rich. We start with him. He made his money the really old-fashioned way. He inherited it. And see the man playing tennis with the elbow brace, the knee strap, and the glove? Vernon S. Fletcher, Wall Street's Iron Man. If he likes you, you can write your own ticket, and he'll like you. Who's the tall guy over there with all the girls? Good eye, Brantley. Harley McMaster's first multinational, recently divorced. They're all dying to be the second Mrs. First multinational. Listen, Vera, you're not gonna tell anybody I work in the mailroom, are you? <laughs> Trust me, Brantley. I got Howard his key to the executive washroom. I can do the same thing for you. Christy? Here are Whitfield's notes. Impressive. Thank you. This is supposed to be a business trip, remember? Oh, baby, how can I concentrate on business? Howard, let me go. Whitfield, miss a party. I'm so glad you're here. So am I. Quick! Ah! Uh, Stop! Uh, not here! <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Wait, I, mean, I gotta tuck. You go first. Go first. Okay? How do I look? Come on, come on. Well, I've had a look at the preliminary report, and I'm satisfied that the proposed cutbacks are our best line of defense. Thank you, sir. We have, we have tried to cut hard and to cut deep. Yes. Well, the job is adequately done. Well, thank you, sir. I think Whitfield is right, and this report is wrong. Oh, oh, right. Christie. Uh, sorry, no, I haven't. Oh, Jack. <laughs> yes, Howard. Uh, have you seen Christy Wells? She's talking to Whitfield. <laughs> no? Oh, come on, that's, that's <laughs> Christy. It's my best one. Uh, would you excuse us for a minute, Christy? <laughs> Oh, 
Bradley, did you know that Whitfield is here? Yeah, I think he was here earlier, but he left. No. Somebody saw him a few minutes ago talking to Christie. Now, I've got my reasons. I want you to stay close to Christie and keep Whitfield away from her. Can you do that for me? Hey, I'm your man. Good. I knew I could count on you. What was that all about? Well, he wants me to stay as close to you as possible. He told you that? Yeah. I don't know. I guess he thinks we make a good couple. <laughs> 